Craig. Craig Wishner. Shake my hand and w tell me, you're converting regular farmland into organic farmland? Yeah, we, we buy conventional farmland. Yeah. Convert it to organic farmland using sustainable agriculture best practices. Fantastic. Is there a market for that? There, there's a tremendous market for it. Uh, the first thing is that the uh, demand for organic food has been growing 20% a year since 1990. It's around 4% of the U.S. food budget is spent on organic food. I never knew that. But only about 0.7% of U.S. farmland is certified organic. Yep. Uh, and that's only growing at 8.5% per year. Wow. So you have 20% growth, 4% of the market yep. uh, for organic food demand. You have the supply of organic farmland. 0.7% growing at eight and a half percent. How do you solve that? So, uh, so we buy farmland, uh, yeah, and we convert it uh, to organic farmland. It takes three years to convert farmland to really? certified organic farmland. Uh, we use sustainable agriculture best practices, so we we'll convert something that used to grow wheat or lawn seed or something else, dumping uh, chemicals in the ground and then into the water. In the yeah, and then uh, we uh, determine what the best thing for that soil is best crops to grow, usually it's pasture uh, to help it convert it's high intensity multi-species animal rotation uh, on that. Natural Pretty, fertilizers. Natural fertilizers, exactly. Okay, got it. Then rotate in a vegetable farmer to take advantage of all that natural fertilizer. Very cool. Uh, couple of years, then they move on to the next piece of pasture. So they're, they're always getting fresh, uh, uh, fresh land. Uh, they get great economics. One of their largest, one of organic vegetable farmers' largest cost is compost. Hauling and spreading uh, that compost is tons and tons of compost for organic vegetable farmers. Well, we have our livestock do all that work for them. Isn't that and fantastic? always give them fresh soil, no disease pressure, uh, great soil fertility. Uh, and then we rotate in uh, a grain farmer, for example, uh, or put it back in a pasture uh, after they're done. So we manage that, that rotation side of it. The farmers get access to great quality land, certified organic. They get to focus on doing what they do best, which is growing great food, distributing that great food. Uh, and we focus on uh, maximizing soil fertility and maximizing the economics for everybody. So is this business booming? You make any money? Uh, we have farmland in the Pacific Northwest right now. Yes. Uh, in the first year from uh, when it was converted from conventional to organic, we increased the revenue on the land by 40% just in well, the first did year. Did you say 40%? 40%. That's a pretty good uh, yield. Uh, I hear from consumers that they'd love to buy organic, but it's so expensive. Are you going to sell that? It's a scale issue. The original cell phones, those big brick cell phones, yeah. they were super expensive. Nobody could afford it. Now everyone can. Why? Because right. everyone has them. Uh, as more farmland gets converted to organic, as the scale increases, costs will go down. That's how things work. So what's price. standing in the way? You need more money? Well, we continue to raise capital. Uh, yep. As we raise capital, we buy farmland. The investors uh, get the benefits of owning farmland as a long-term investment. Right. Uh, we add value to that farmland by converting it to organic. Uh, and using the sustainable agriculture management practices Fantastic. on the land and increase their cash flow over time.